Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Tringles. Uh, this is a pizza pinwheel. It's um, a pizza with a twist. These are the veggie uh, version. It has uh, mushrooms, onions, black olives, and green peppers. Looks pretty interesting. We bought these at um, Jungle Gyms uh, for $4.19. And you might have them in your area too. I don't know. So they are 280 calories for one pinwheel. Which is awfully small for that many calories, but there's your other information for you too. So the directions, you can do the conventional oven or toaster oven. There's the directions if you want to do that. Of course, we don't do that here. We do microwave. So we're going to remove the frozen pinwheel from the wrap package. Um, place it on a on the silver side of discard in the center of the microwave. Microwave high for one minute to one minute and 20 seconds. I'll probably just do... Um, I'll do 110, just split it in the middle. Uh, and then just says be careful because it's going to be hot. Um, and that's it. Dispose of the, of the silver disc and let it set for one minute before eating. So 110 is what I'll do it for. Um, I'll also put it on a paper plate just in case it uh, runs or leaks or anything like that. Okay, so you got the little disc on the bottom, and then you got your little pinwheel. So that's, it looks like a cinnamon roll, so it's got pizza stuff in it. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic bag, let it sit on top of this little crispy thing for the bottom, and get it in the microwave for a minute and ten, and I'll be back. All right, here it is, out of the microwave, and I cut it in half just so I could um, let it cool off, first of all, but it also let you see what's inside of it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You can really smell the mushrooms and the peppers. Oh, and the bottom crisped up really nice. So, and the top has some uh, crispy cheese on it. So I'm gonna let this set for just a minute and then I'll be back to try it out. Okay, give it a little time to cool off. Not very long at all, but um, it's really hard to determine where you wanna start eating it at because it looks like a lot of stuff's on top and it looks like there's some stuff in the middle too. Um, tell you what, I'll just bite it kind of right here on the side. Man, yeah, cheese. With it being a pinwheel, the inside is a little like doughy and soft. It's not um, it's not uncooked or raw or anything. It's just um, a little softer um, than the rest of it. It seems like you get most of your ingredients like stuck on top, but like the inside has a few things, but it's not much. It's mostly just cheese down um, towards the middle. And there's the other half. You can kind of see there's some mushrooms or something in there, but that's it. Um, I like the flavor. With it not having any kind of cheese sauce, it does make it taste uh, not quite like a pizza. And they're called pinwheel pizza pinwheels. It doesn't taste any like a pizza because it really doesn't have that sauce flavor. It tastes more like a, a stromboli bread or a, um, um, I don't know, an Italian sandwich or something like that more than uh, more than a pizza. Uh, the pizza would have required some sauce, I think. That's my personal opinion. Um, but it's good. It's got a good flavor. The, the You can really taste the mushrooms and the peppers in this, which I like mushrooms and peppers anyway. Um, I do like the crispy cheese on the outside and the crispy bread on the outside. Like I said, the inside's a little soft, but... It's not doughy or, or mushy or anything like that. Um, if it had some little sauce in here, I would have probably given this a four. But as it is, I'm going to give it a three. I think it's good. I do think it's worth trying out. I think four nineteen. How much it was? Four nineteen. I think four nineteen is about two dollars too much for it. Honestly, um, you can get good pizzas for um, two dollars or less uh, that are frozen. And this one just tends to be, I don't, I don't think it's anything special to require you to spend $4 on it. And it's made in America, so it's not like they're shipping them in from somewhere. So I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. And the flavors are good, but they could be elevated a little bit better with some seasoning. Even if they'd seasoned the bread a little bit more, that would have been good too. If they'd put some, uh, I don't know, some garlic or something like that in the, in the actual dough, um, that would have been good too. But they didn't do that. So the flavors are just the, you just get the flavors of the peppers and the mushrooms and a little bit of the bread and that's it. So I'm gonna give it a three. It's worth trying out. If you can get them cheaper than that, um, you can put it in the comments if you want. Um, I, I think they're good, but I do think they're overpriced for what they are. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.